All right, guys, so we're going to try the boosted launch, 2,500 RPMs. Holy shit. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are finally, finally, I've been waiting so long for this, tuning the F-150 on E-50. So I am about to blend um, the 93 octane and E-85. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, we're here at Wawa, and uh, I got, they have literally one pump with E85, so I gotta whoop out the calculator and figure out, you know, the, the blend according to the ethanol contents of each one. And I have this little, uh, this little uh, testing kit that I bought from uh, Amazon. And uh, basically you fill it up with water and then uh, gas and it'll tell you the ethanol content. So let's see how this goes. I might blow up the engine, I might not. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right guys, so we filled up our uh, water, E85. Now it's uh, supposed to separate like magic and we're supposed to figure out uh, what ethanol content is in this bad boy. So let's give it a second here. All right guys, it's been about two minutes, but you can see there, uh, it's pretty much at E80 right on, right underneath E80 uh, so now we just gotta plug that into the calculator and uh, see what we get for mixture alrighty so we plugged into the calculator here that we have an ethanol content of E78 um, so according to the calculator here um, this uh, truck has a 36 gallon tank so in order to get that E50 mixture, I plug in 78% uh, ethanol, uh, 21 gallons of this E85, and uh, 15 gallons of gasoline at 93 uh, with a 10% uh, ethanol content, and we got our E50. So let's get this uh, show on the road. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and added the E50 mixture to the tank. Now either the car is going to blow up or it's not going to blow up. We're going to find out in just a second. I moved spots here. That way we can go ahead and get our tuner and uh, go ahead and load the uh, E50 tune onto the truck. And a lot of people had been criticizing me in a past video because I was calling the F-150 a car and not a truck. I think people are just sensitive, but anyways, that's a whole different story. Uh, we're here for the tune. Let's go E50. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's been way too long. I've been trying to do this. Just haven't had a, a moment uh, to go ahead and, and sit down and do this. So I am very excited for this E50 tune. Uh, let's see. I've been running the 93 octane tune um, for a while. So let's see how it... Uh Let's go. All right, we're ready. Turn key off, done. We are ready to rumble, let's go.
quarter mile. That was insane. All right, guys, so we're going to try the boosted launch 2500 RPMs. Holy shit. 30. That is insane. 60. Let's go, dude. Quarter mile. Woo! Oh my god. Alrighty guys, I needed a second to catch my breath there because those launches hit so hard. Uh, four wheel drive launches are just absolutely nuts. And what's crazy is with the 93 octane tune, I never broke traction. But now that I have the E50 tune, um, I, could, I could feel the car breaking loose uh, at the beginning of the launch there. Oh, which is insane because you're in four wheel drive. Uh, I'm excited to take the car to a, you know, a prep track and actually have complete traction. But that's insane that, you know, it's a little V6 and uh, with uh, a four wheel drive launch, it's, you know, breaking traction, which is insane. But yeah, it's, it's making some decent power. And I'm just, I mean, I'm going to show you guys from the outside, uh, but it's just insane how this car looks like i don't know it just looks so stealthy sleeper mode and it can do a 12 second quarter mile and then i can go ahead and like you know fill the the bed with random crap and take it to the dump and do random trips to home depot um but i love this car if you can't tell <laughs> um i also took off the uh the you know uh cover off the back uh, that probably saved a couple you know 100 200 pounds um, so I know my numbers went down from there, from the, from the 93 octane tune, but yeah, I, E50 tune, amazing. Uh, MPT killed it with the E50 tune. I kind of want to send a revision just to make sure everything is good. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I absolutely love it. It was a little bit nerve wrecking at first, you know, mixing the, the gasolines and stuff, but I think I can get the hang of it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and then the other thing is just being able to find uh, the E85 to do the mixing. I thought they were more common, but they're actually super uncommon. Like I had to actually like look and go out of my way to find one in uh, central Florida. And, you know, it's a pretty populated area. It's not that rural of an area. And it was still kind of hard to find one. I thought like every Wawa, you know, would have it. But it turns out it's only very, very specific Wawas. And the Wawa that I went to they actually only had one pump with E85. I had to like circle around three times. I'm like, am I missing it? Like, where are these pumps? Um, so they only had one pump that actually had a, 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 a separate slot for E85. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, according to MPT, I think I should go uh, intercooler and uh, you know thermostat and plugs next in regards to mods um, right now. We just have a cold air intake and a, a makeshift blow off valve, like a, not even a blow off valve, what do you call it? A VTA mod. Um, I don't really think I care for the blow off valve. I mean, I mean, it sounds pretty good the way it is now, uh, but the turbo spooling is really what gets me the blow off valve. Eh, it's, it's whatever. I mean, it gets old quickly. Like you're not gonna be, you know, flooring it and letting off to, to hear the blow off valve every time driving under normal conditions, so. Uh, I'm, I'd rather spend my money elsewhere, aka on performance mods that'll actually make a difference. Uh, but stay tuned because I am going to take this truck to the track extremely soon. And uh, we're going to hopefully surprise some people that didn't know this truck can be this fast. I'm going to even leave uh, my hitch that I used to tow my boat with. I'm going to leave it on there just to mess with people. And, you know, it's a full size truck. It's just my mind is blown, even though I've owned this car for quite a while, how, how quick it is. Um, but thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next video.